Okay, this is a 2022 old school trailers model 831 that we rent on RV share and outdoorsy. The links are in the description below. Uh, some things you need to know about this trailer. Number one, this trailer has a gross weight of 4,000 pounds, has an empty weight of 3,300 pounds. So you have 700 pounds of carrying capacity. I would highly recommend you have a vehicle that can at least tow 5,000 pounds to pull this trailer. You need a 2 and 5 16 inch ball and a 7 pin connector to make this work. You need to have brakes for this trailer. Pop these off if you need to get the propane tanks at all or just lift the whole cover off. Either way, that just gets to the handles. Outside light, if you're working at night, battery is in there. Also, when you hook up the trailer, in addition to those chains, this is the emergency brake. That has to be hooked up as well. Um, outside compartment, oh, before I do that, 380 pounds on the hitch is the weight. So whatever your tow vehicle is, again, it has to be able to handle 380 pounds on the hitch. Storage compartment, it's pretty big, but again, anything heavy you put in there, that's, that's weight on your, on your hitch, on your tongue. That there is the uh, exhaust for the heater, so that's hot. Two water connections. This one fills the tank. I can fill the tank for you if you're not going to be hooked up to water, so before you go, I can put soft water in there. This one here is for the um, hose, and you can see it's got threads in there. That's where you'd put the hose. So, hose connection, fill the tank. Tank is underneath there, that's the drain valve, and I would have that filled if you need it. This is the water heater. You do not need to do anything here. That will just, uh, that just gets hot. Electrical outlet for when you're plugged into electricity or a generator. This is the hose you need. This hose will be in this compartment hose. This is the cord you'll need. The orange end goes in that connection. This end gets plugged in. This is a 30 amp connection. All trailers have these 30 amp connections at a minimum because it runs the uh, air conditioner. If you do not have that connection at your campsite, this is an adapter. Some places only have a regular, regular plug-in. So this will plug it in. You'll still be able to run your air conditioner. It's just not recommended, but it will run it. If you're renting our generator, this will be in here as well. This is the adapter you need for our generator. Wheel chocks, got some down here already on. Water hose, that back there is the drain hose. Levelers, if you need them under the wheels or under these jacks. Stabilizer jacks. This is the stabilizer jack handle. That's in the, all of this is in this compartment. This fits right on here. These jacks are not to raise and lower the vehicle. They are stabilizer jacks. There's one on each corner. You can see one up there and on both sides. You do not use this to raise the trailer. It just stabilizes it so it doesn't bounce around when you're in it. If you have a flat tire, all your standard equipment from your tow vehicle will work. Lug nuts, scissors jack, all that. Do not use these. They will break. Um, this is your drain connection. The smaller hose or tube here. That's your gray water. So that's your sinks and shower. The bigger tube back here, that's the black water. That's the uh, um, toilet. You're going to take that hose out. Take that cap off hook up the hose, then you're going to pull out that valve, pull it out, and you're going to drain the toilet. After that's done draining, you shut that valve, then you come over and you open this valve, just pull it out, and let the water run out. It'll flush out the black water out of the hose, so that'll keep it clean. Uh, there will be a pair of rubber gloves in this container also, um, but you know, it's wastewater, right? So be 
be careful. Also remember, this isn't real high off the back. You know, you can hit the back end when you're coming out of a steep uh, gas station or something. So pay attention to that in your mirror. You don't want to hit that. And this compartment just, there's a little catch with all, all the compartments have a little catch. And then just close them. Right now I don't have them, any of them locked. We do have locks. Again, you got spare tire. Again, it's all standard stuff from your tow vehicle. Outside shower. I don't have the key on me. Uh, just open this up with the key. There's an outside shower. Make sure that gets shut off before you start moving again. This connection down here is for cable. Uh, TV. There is no TV in here. This is the fridge, refrigerator. You do not need to get in here. I'm going to try and show this, but up here there's little tabs on this vent that you need to open. And then if you can see this flapping, this is the vent for the shower. I mean, vent for the stove. Outside outlet. Another storage compartment that just matches the other compartment on the other side. The door. The door does not open 180 degrees. Well, it does open 180 degrees, but it doesn't lock in place because this arm for the awning is in the way. So if we open the door, we're just going to bring it back here and we're going to hook it on there. So that way, if you do have the main door open, it won't bang that arm and it won't swing in the wind. Push this knob down, it'll detach the screen. Close that and then you can just leave the screen open. Take the stairs out. Just grab a hold of it. Pull. Kind of noisy. Comes out easy. Now we'll go inside. A little dark in here, so we'll turn on some lighting. This is one interior light, one right above. This other switch is the exterior light. The other lights are tap lights. You barely have to tap them. They're not push lights. They're tap lights. So you just barely touch them. I'm being very gentle on purpose. Um, so, and please do that. If you hit them too hard, they could potentially just stay on. So you gotta be careful with those. Bed, that is a cutting board that you can place on top of the stove um, when you uh, get set up. It needs to ride someplace else, on the bench or or on the bed. More storage here, more storage up here. On the corner here on either side is a charging station. Radio, it is a Bluetooth radio. Any 12 year old can probably figure it out, but if you can't, there is uh, instructions up here on how to connect to the radio. Again, that's where a TV would be, but we're not doing a TV. Um, awning, extend, retract. We're gonna extend the awning and it'll just start to go out. I need some ice cream from the ice cream vendor. Um, it'll go all the way out. It clears the door so the door can be open when you do this. And we're gonna watch this corner over here. I'm gonna try and zoom in on that a little bit. If I watch that corner, I'm watching for the label to come out. And there's the label. It's all the way out when the label's out. Sometimes that flap that's laying there will be stuck on the top, so you just have to put it up. Bring it back in. You just bring it back in. Just hit the retract button. Now I'll step outside here a little bit, just so you can see it a little better. kind of slow but I just want to see how it seats back it just kind of when it's done it just kind of tucks right up against the trailer and 
months in. Should be good. Okay, faucet, just like any other faucet at home, hot water, cold water. Stove, got an igniter, pretty easy. Turn it to light, high, low, got a light. I'm not gonna turn the fan on, but that's that vent from outside that I showed you. Uh, microwave, microwave isn't on right now because I'm not hooked up to electricity. Uh, smoke detector, fridge. When you get here, the fridge will be on. Right now it's not on, but I'm gonna turn it on. Simple process, turn it on, and it's on auto. You want it on auto, so then when you're not hooked up to electricity, it'll use propane. I think, oh, it already lit. I was gonna try and catch it, but you can hear it clicking when it's trying to light. If the check light's on, obviously there's something wrong, and you'll have to investigate what that is. Heater. Just turn it up to the temperature you need, although I can't even think about a heater right now. It's plenty warm. Bathroom, there's a light switch right here that turns on the one light, and then there's more tap lights underneath. Toilet, pretty simple. There is some deodorizer in the tank right now, but you push that lever, lever there, um, halfway will fill the bowl up with water and then all the way down will open the flap and flush it so you'll want to fill it with some water so halfway and then flush it single ply toilet paper only there is toilet paper in here there is more I'll show you where um, but you want to use single ply you can plug these up very easily uh, sink and soap and of course there's some more storage up top vent you can open the vent bathroom is actually a power vent you can turn that on and the fan will come on shower it's a small shower it's a little tight a little cramped you more than likely will get water on the floor so wipe that up and then you'll want to uh, do the old uh, navy shower you know off and on so there's an off and on button right there to turn the water off and on get wet lather up rinse off done kind of a deal if you're on if you're trying to use water out of the tank if you're using water out of the tank you only have so much so you want to be careful how much you use again tap light power uh, uh, window I'll show you how those windows work from the other side bedding is on here I'm five foot seven I fit in one of these bunks six footer you want to put a six footer on the front bank bed there this window is a little bit different than the other windows it does also an emergency exit to push out not not very complicated but you just kind of work this out and it just rests on there oh nice breeze coming in there feels good um, since we're talking about windows let's look at this window here these are simple, they just ride up. You wanna be careful if you, if you break these lines that are on here, then they don't work anymore. So we wanna be careful with that. The window, this lever, you pull this lever out, and then you just slide the window back. Pretty simple. Same thing, slide it back, push it in, it's locked. Pull your screen back down. Uh, dinette. The dinette is also a bed, but for very small people, small children, um, one you know, one short adult, or if you want to go in the fetal position, it'll work too. Um, I'm not going to take it down, but it's pretty simple. You lift the tabletop off, pull the tubes out, lay them down on the floor. You put the table right on these cleats on either side, and then you just spread the cushions out underneath this side these are velcroed in there is another storage compartment however we're using that one another blanket there's a coffee maker 
coffee uh, filters, some more toilet paper, there's cleaning supplies in there. It's all ready to go. Over on this side, now here's a design flaw. This uh, flip up shelf blocks that front. That top drawer. Silverware, cooking utensils, measuring cups, knives, just just towels and rags. Here is I uh, don't know how well you can see that, but there's pots and pans in there, mixing bowls, some trivets, another cutting board, lots of stuff under there. Um, we have more up here. Uh, plates, bowls, cups, salt and pepper, some basics. Um, over here, water heater runs on electric or LP. Obviously, if you're not hooked up to electric, you want to use the LP. Uh, if you're hooked up to electric, you can use either one. Um, pretty easy to use electric. If you are not hooked up to water and you're using the water tank, you need the pump on as well. Check your systems, battery, freshwater tank is empty, black tank is empty, gray tank is empty, but that'll tell you where you're at. If you're dry camping, that's important. Air conditioner, air conditioner only works with 110 volt electricity. Um, I don't have it hooked up to 110 volt electricity, but uh, simple on and off switch, high cool. I don't know if I can get that focused. But there's high cool, low cool, and this is just your temperature. And you can also adjust the vents, if you can see that in there. This will point it up more towards the ceiling or down at you some more. Um, that's the heater, that's where the heat's going to come out when the heater's running. Um, I think that's it. Any questions? Let me know. Thanks.